No sabe nada. It's what we are doing. It's being determined to do it. At all costs. Fight for it. Grab it. Snatch it. Yes, sir. And run with you. Yes, sir. Jagaban. Jagaban. Yes, sir. Hello, good morning. This is my channel. I am Okocha Happy Marcel. The video you just did seen is the presidential candidate of the APC, Mr. Bona Ahmed Tinumbu. Before the election, when they were campaigning, he was telling his campaign team that if what you are doing is being challenged on election day, this was his words. Snatch it, grab it, and run with it. And I believe the word will not judge me wrong if I said that Tinumbu sponsor all the whole electoral malpractices that took place on 25th of February during the presidential election. I believe people will not quote me wrong if I said that Tinumbu sponsored the killings, the ballot bus uh, that people have snatched in Lagos and so many parts of the country. If I said that he sponsored them, I am not going to be wrong. This is a live video. This is a video that he was filmed saying the same words. If what you are de doing is being challenged, being challenged in the sense that on election day, if you are trying to read the election for me and it's being challenged, grab the bundle boss, snatch the bundle boss, and run with it. And this is what we saw on the election day. People were snatching the bundle buses. People were running with it. People were, were intimidating people. You can see um, the national chairman of um, the Union of Road Transport Workers and Sion Womo there. He was calling him Jagaban. And this is the same man that came out and told people that if you are not voting for APC, if you are not voting for us, better do not come out. If Nigeria is a country that is working with ego system by now, Mr. Tinumbu should be behind the bars. Mr. Tinumbu shouldn't be seeing the daylight. Mr. Tinumbu shouldn't be campaigning for any election. It, it, it baffles me how so many people traveled abroad. They went to so many countries that are working. If they are sick, they will, they will flow to abroad for their medical treatment and they will see everything, how system works in abroad but they cannot replicate it in their country. This is so bad, it's so unfortunate. And these are the reason why. If Nigeria happens to be a developed country, like countries in Europe, with this statement Mr. Tinumbu make, he shouldn't even be a counselor of any community, talk less of a president of any country. Telling your campaign team on election day, if they are trying to rig for you and what they are trying to do is being challenged, that they should snatch it, they should grab it, that they should run with it. I, I don't even know how some people don't understand that this is a damage control. Everything that we are doing for a good Nigeria, we are just trying to do a damage control because the system is already damaged. Because if the system is not da damaged, somebody like Tinumbu will not be coming out in the public and saying such a thing, and today he's working freely. If today that Nigeria is a country that we are dreaming that it should become, somebody like Tinumbu shouldn't be even going around in the city. They have no business with dignity, he has no business with competence, integrity. A presidential candidate saying that people should snatch it, people should grab it, people should run with it. Anyway, Nigerians forget history so soon. Those few people who voted for Tinubu because few people voted for him, it's not everybody that voted for him. Even he himself said that, that few people voted for him. I know many did not vote for me. You are disappointed that your candidate is not where I stand now. You heard him say that. So even though few people who voted for him as well, I don't really know that they 
take a deep breath, reason before they go and vote for him. Because even in 2015, when he was campaigning for um, Buhari, he was telling them that one euro should be, uh, one naira would be to one dollar, that um, four years will be four years. Everything he said, there is nothing that worked. you are addressing the youth. Who are you deceiving? PDP. You understand me? Don't be deceived. If they own So, the administration of Buhari that he claimed to be the leader of APC that they are going to make everything work. Every, nothing worked out. He said that they are going to be um, paying students loan. They are going to be doing this. Nothing worked. But Nigerians, why are your people forgetting his resources? And maybe they want people to give up. We are not giving up. People are not giving up because we have tasted what a good country is. We have traveled. We know what a good country is. And we know that when our country is good, so many people you see that are traveling, even people in abroad, we come back home. Nothing like your country. So we are not going to give up in the fight for a better Nigeria, especially when we have somebody like Mr. Peter Obi. In this video, I am saying that Tinumbu is not supposed to be Nigerian president and he has no business with leadership for such utterances that he spoke during his campaign. See you on my next video. My name is Okocha Happy Marcel. Kindly subscribe to this channel, share this video and also come by always for daily updates. Thank you so much and see you on my next video.